Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Cancer. Hey Cancer, I hope everything is going okay. I'm sitting down today. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what is going on. Okay. Uh, Cancer, we have the Ace of Cups for first. This talks about you having some kind of delays or disappointments having to do with affairs of the heart. This is love. There's something that you expected a new relationship to go better than it actually did. Um, I don't know that it's getting off the ground the way you want it to. This has to do with a person or it may have to do with a project. And this may not be the right time to start something new. Now, if you look here, you're going to see the Ace of Swords is reversed. Uh, the Ace of Swords tells us reversed that there are going to be some glitches and delays in something having to do with the situation. And to me, when I look at this, this might be a confirmation that it may not be the best time to maybe, like I was saying earlier, uh, get into a new relationship, get a project started off the ground. It may not be the best time, right? Or you can maybe brainstorm and see what you can come up with that. However, what you're manifesting is not going to come into fruition as fast as you hoped it would. We have the Hermit card, and this is upright, so this card is telling us that the Hermit travels alone. You may be taking some time to figure out and clarify and get answers about certain situations in your life. Uh, you may be isolating yourself so you can get the true perspective and get in touch with the inner you. All right. I feel like with this, because this is a nine, this tells me attainment, attainment, uh, fulfillment, and also fruition. So I feel like there's something that you're trying to take some time and think about why here with the Ace of Swords reverse, I see that you are not quickly manifesting as fast as maybe you normally do or there's some idea about a relationship or a project that is just not going the way you want it to. I tried A, B, C, and D and it still has interruptions. It still has gaps. Maybe this isn't the right time. So I think eventually you turn around and you take some time to figure out, okay, I need to take time and think about this. Now, I feel like also, um, see, to me, this is a new relationship, but I'm not sure if something else was going on here. I do see the three of swords reversed. So this talks about a separation. Now, you could be taking a separation from your person, uh, something having to do with the heart. Um, you may not be taking full responsibility for the role that you played in the severance of this relationship, the, the cliff, where it cut off. What, whatever caused you to go into separation, I feel like you may have played a role in it. And I feel like you might be blaming somebody else. And at the end of the day, um, you need to really acknowledge what it is that happened in this connection. So I'm starting to see that this connection is a lot more important than I thought it was. Okay, okay. So we have the Three of Swords. So this talks about some kind of breakup. It talks about you uh, blaming somebody else for the situation at hand. And maybe you had certain expectations of this person. And I don't know. I just feel like there were a couple of people involved here. This talks about expressions, groups, groups when we see threes, right? But with this, I see that there's some kind of heartbreak. And I think this was a newer relationship and you had high hopes for it, but it did not go the way you wanted it to. So I do see that you could have um, some kind of, it could be depression behind it. If you guys are, uh, if you were married, if this is somebody that you just kind of met and you got married to, maybe there's some kind of separation, maybe there's a, a divorce. It was one of those fast weddings. Okay, the last energy that I have for you guys, you guys may be, um, and this backs up the whole reading really, you're walking away from something. So I think the separation may be you walking away, you taking time, because I see this is backed up with the Hermit card when we have the Eight of Cups reversed. So that tells me that this is something that you had to walk away from. This looks like it's your energy. You're not facing the facts behind the problem. And again, to me, this is clarified by the Three of Swords reversed, where you decide you're not going to take any responsibility for the demise of this relationship. So if you guys got married too fast, hey, I only knew you five months. You know, this is your fault. You should have knew what you wanted, but I just met you five months ago. So you understand what I'm saying? I'm not sure what this all is, but let's see who we have here. We have uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, we have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I see Virgo. Um, that's pretty much who we see here. All right, so just with this last card, you might be waking, walking away from something here, right? But you might actually... Uh, uh, you might want to be sure that you want to do that. If you take a step back from this relationship, this is what it seems like is some kind of a relationship. It, I don't know. You look like you don't want to give it a second chance. But you better be sure that's what you want to do. 
Otherwise, you could actually be sorry for that. Just saying. All right. Let's see what happened. Now, I see what I see, but let's see if we can... I don't know. Seal it up a little bit. Seal it up a little bit. Oh, cancer. Give me details about this breakup, please. Details about this breakup. Twin flames, yin yang, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Okay, it's a twin flame relationship. Hold on, let's see. Mm. Need time, takes time in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. Somebody's still trying to heal from whatever happened in this connection. Mm. Let's see. One more. I guess, I, I, you know, I just feel like here you're not sure if you want to move on yet. I don't think you've made that final decision. Uh, but I do see that you're taking time. If we look at this, we see the Hermit card. We have the clock reversed. So you're trying to figure out what you want to do. You have Eight of Cups reversed. We have Healthy Choices. Um, you might be trying to change your lifestyle as you're in hermit mode, making healthy choices in love and in life, focusing on yourself, self-love, and being happier. So I feel like that's uh, something that you're going to try and uh, figure out, I guess, while you take this time. Give me one card. Let me just see. Give me one card to let me know uh, whatever you want to tell. Whatever you want to tell, Cancer. Whatever you want to tell cancer. Okay. One card, please. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. Okay, so I don't know if you're addicted to fairy tales and needing people to be a certain way or be with them all the time or have this uh, Disney syndrome in terms of love in your head. Everything is, I don't know what you expected, but I feel like this person may have disappointed you. I feel like this person let you down. But I feel like these were expectations that you may have put in your own head, Cancer. I'm just being, I'm being, you know, you have this idea in your head. And when somebody doesn't act that role or to play the role. See, the role you played in this, I, I would say, in this demise, you know, making, I'm not saying, the role I feel like you played is having expectations that were unrealistic. Give me one more, please. One more. This could be the one. Yep, I still see you thinking about this person that you walked away from. So you decide to walk away from somebody when you never clearly set in stone what it is you wanted, what you expected out of them, Cancer. So that's all I have for you guys. This was just a really quick reading. I just wanted to put something out there for you guys. Uh, I'm going to be back tomorrow. I'm just going to take a little bit of a break. All right. Love you guys. Bye.